Thank you for attending the Mile IQ webinar on classifying. My name is Ben and joining me is Armani along with the rest of the customer success team dedicated to helping you get the most out of Mile IQ. In this webinar we'll cover classifying on the mobile app, classifying on the web dashboard, and time-saving tips and tricks for both to give you more time for everything else. We'll now move to our pre-recorded segments to ensure you're getting the most useful tips with your time. And if there's anything you'd like more information about, please submit your questions and we'll cover them in the chat or live on air. So with that, let's begin our first section. Let's start with classifying in the mobile app. We'll cover swiping drives as business or personal, as well as custom purposes, joining drives, naming locations, and much more. Here we go. So MileIQ works by automatically capturing your drives and you'll have a drive card downloaded to your device 5 to 15 minutes after your drive ends. So within each drive, you have the start and end location, as well as their map, the total mileage, and total potential business value if you were to classify it as business. We'll start by classifying the drive as personal by swiping it to the left. We'll demonstrate with our lovely hand model, and we'll do the same for this drive, as well as this drive. And if there's ever a drive you don't recognize, you can tap the map to bring up a bird's eye view of the start and end location. And you can just pinch to zoom out. Uh, this will give you a quick refresher on the start and end location for a specific drive uh, to help you in classifying. Now we'll classify as business with a simple swipe to the right. We'll do the same for this drive. And this drive will actually swipe and hold, we'll release our thumb, and then we'll choose a specific purpose to classify this drive with more detail. We'll do the same with this drive. And if you ever need to add additional information to your drive that isn't covered in a purpose, you can go to the note section by tapping the notepad icon and input parking or tolls or notes from what you discussed at the meeting or any information that you would seem relevant. Once we're all caught up on our current month, we can navigate to past months by going to our all months view by tapping the name of the month at the top of the screen. Here we can navigate to December to finish up classifying these drives. You may be wondering how to name your location so that they're easily recognizable. Here I'll label my Dexter location as my work location. You can use work, office, really anything you want that makes it easier for you to remember. So I'll tap into the Dexter field and I'll rename this work. Now all my drives to this Dexter location within 0.12 miles will get this work label applied to them. I can do the same for my Brighton location and I'll name this home. I'll classify this work to home drive as a commute with a swipe and hold I'll tap commute. I'll do the same for this home to work drive as it was also a commute. I'll head back to January by tapping the name of the month at the top of the screen, tapping January, and then go to January drives. If you classify the same drive the same way two or more times, like a home to work drive as commute, you'll be prompted to set up an auto classification rule so that my like you always classifies home to work drives as commute. I'll tap yes, auto classify, and this way I don't have to worry about my home to work drives anymore. But what happens when you have a longer drive with a single purpose that gets automatically split when you stop for gas or a rest stop? We'll start with my recent camping trip that was a personal vacation. So this first drive I'll classify as personal, uh, this next drive is uh, actually part of that same trip from my memory. So I'm actually going to undo my last action, tapping this button in the bottom right corner, which brings back my first drive. And now I'm going to hit the Join Drives icon and then confirm this join. And now these two drive cards are combined into one. Um, but if I scroll further down, I actually see that this was a couple different legs of the trip. So, since these drives were within a certain amount of time, we'll hit the Join Drives button, confirm this, and now these three drives are all combined into one drive card. 
with our original departure and final ending location. If I need to add any parking or tolls to this complete trip and add a vehicle, I can do so. Let me just do this quickly. So I'll input the odometer readings for every year I've had the vehicle. Um, and now Terry, the terrain, my nickname vehicle, is assigned to this drive. You can tell from the green check mark right next to Terry and also on the vehicle icon below. Now all future drives will get Terry automatically or you can go on the web dashboard and assign Terry, your vehicle, to all your drives in a couple clicks. And now that we have a vehicle assigned to this, we should classify this drive. This, uh, these three drives joined together, we can classify with one swipe as personal. Now let's cover custom purposes. The purposes that we have uh, cover a variety of different drives, um, but we also give you the freedom to create your own. For this specific drive, I was meeting a, uh, a client that I meet very regularly, uh, John Smith actually. So here I'll tap personalization to create a new purpose. Uh, this will bring me to the next screen uh, where I can do so. Here I'll tap uh, towards the top and type in client John Smith uh, because I will be visiting John Smith regularly. If this was just a one or two time thing, uh, we could add this person's name in the note section uh, for the specific drive as opposed to create an entire custom purpose. Uh, the reason for this is that you only have a set amount of purposes that can be shown total of 20 for business and a total of 20 for personal. And that's combined of the default purposes and the ones you create. Um, so this space is limited, um, so use it wisely. So we'll head back to this card and we can now classify this as Client John Smith. Perfect. 